so I'm about to get started on the sway bar end links here. Alright, so that's not bad. I only had to use the Allen wrench to stick in the end of it on one of them. Uh, I don't have one here. It's way over there. But like in that bolt end that's sticking up, right? Your little Allen head wrench would go in here so the nut and you know it doesn't spin. But it came off pretty nice. I'm just gonna take this one off then we'll slap the new ones on and yeah, good to go. Alright, so for comparison, this one is the stock factory sway bar end link. And I just went over this at the VW dealer last night when they told me I needed these for inspection. I was like, oh, the ones on it are shorter. And they were like, oh, probably not. He went in the back and like measured it and it came out. I was like, yeah, it's 30 mils shorter than factory. One theory is they're solo works and they're just junk. Probably the best theory. Second theory is they're a little bit shorter and I didn't lower the car enough because oh, the light's on the other side. But you can see how much thread I have left. Like I can go an inch lower, but then you can't drive it as hard even though my fender's getting chooched. Anyways, so here's the replacement that I just got. It should be factory length. Correct, it is. So, this is, I, you know, I was gonna try to put the factory ones back on, you know, cause they're, but this boot's just, I think I ruined that boot taking it off. Still running the Detroit wheels right now. I put a plug in that one. It hasn't went flat since the autocross thing. And I wanted to go to the next autocross, but it was sold out. And now there's no more until, you know, winter autocross in the snow. But, yep, that's all you get. And these are from Napa, made in Germany. So it's like $103 total. And then the 55 for the inspection, so we're looking at like 160, which isn't bad to get it inspected for two years. Yeah, I mean, I could have saved a little bit on the sway bar end links if AutoZone actually had them and shipped them and whatnot, but... Sway bar end link right here, taking this off. Alright, so I got that bottom nut out, I just have to take the top one off. So top disconnected, bottom comes right out, and... I mean, these ones don't really flex back and forth much, they just move in instead. I mean, that's pretty handy in there. Well, I mean, these are stiff too. Maybe I'm supposed to break like this doesn't move at all right now. There we go. Get a little flexibility in the sway bar end link, and then... See, that one was still locked up. Yeah. Work them around a little. See, I'm no mechanic, but I just came up with that on my own. You guys should probably work your sway bar end links around a little bit before you install. You know, move the grease around. Don't rip the boot or else you're going to fail inspection. So I had a bit to gain and I was like, oh, how am I going to do this, right? And then I thought, oh, I'll grab my VW jack because I'm using two floor jacks. And last time I think I had to jack the sway bar up. I don't know how I did it last time. It was freezing cold. It was my first time doing coilovers. It just went horrible. But now we're a little bit smarter, right? So it's like... Well, you can push the sway bar down a little bit, you know, and get a little movement out of it. Or, I could just take this VW jack and just lift the wheel up. I'm awfully zoomed in now, but you can see the sway bar end link there. In our progress, and now you just, boom, maybe a little bit more. And boom, we're in. So we'll just throw a bolt in that, tighten her down, and that's how you get your sway bar end link into position. You can use three jacks, because you want the front end of the car off the ground, and then just use another little jack under your wheel and you're good to go. Always learning. That's the fun part, always learning. Okay, so we just finished our sway bar, front sway bar end link install. Um, I had to do this when I did the coilover kit, and now I just had to replace them again. So there we go, there's our new one, it's all nice and installed. And I have a video on the rear sway bar end links, you can check that out. I did those at one time or another. But yeah, look at all the threads I have there to lower it. Plenty of lower and left. So we're going to throw the wheels back on and then tomorrow hopefully we get an inspection. Or it should just be the re-inspection, you know, I already passed everything except the sway bar end links. Yeah, but, they, but the, I've also been told when I've been there not to tell Gary that the camera's on, so it's like the whole thing that's been going on. Oh, right. It wasn't like an accident. Thank you. Of course not. Thank you. Pumpkins are in the bed. The kids are in the
Mark, where am I supposed to sleep? Reinspection. Sticker it. we did so went back today after replacing the sway bar end links last night and we got our inspection sticker so good for another two years uh, I probably showed you the sway bar end links last night in that video you know I'll make it all one video but I don't remember what I filmed uh, 
let's see here are the old ones so I know the car is filthy right now but you'll see that little rust spot there right it's gonna be tough because it's dark but it's coming from under here like this holds water so you can see all this paint is like well you can't really see but all that paints bubbling inside right like all the way up to here where my thumb is you can see it on the outside it's just tough now because it's dirty and they're like oh that started from the outside like clearly this holds water every time it rains you can like so I was trying to get that covered oh why would you focus under the rust protection corrosion and they were like oh no it started from the outside when I first got the car I had both front fenders fixed because of rust and yeah so it's a no-go on getting the hatch repainted and I mean I don't even really care at this point because they're just such hacks at this VW dealer as far as that stuff goes like they put the fenders on all messed up and they've never been right since then and see I usually don't make videos like pointing out the flaws in my car a lot of people won't right but it's like I'll show you all the things wrong with it like so this fender right it's never been right since they've uh, repainted them and replaced them and I brought it back to the paint shop talked to VW of America basically the body shop just ended up going like that pushing it in and then like in 10 minutes when you hit a bump it'll just move again and you know I could probably adjust it maybe I don't know I've never looked at how the fenders mount but again, like, should I have to when it was covered by VW warranty? So, you know, one day I might make a video, all the issues that I've had with the R32 since I've owned it. I've thought about doing that. And I'm also working on a video of all the modifications where I go through each modification. Like the Cooper lip and stuff all in one video and show you and explain them and break it down all quick. So you have like a nice little summary of the modifications that I've done to my R32. Uh, quick scooter update. Uh, I took that today. I make a bunch of scooter videos trying to get to 10,000 kilometers before winter. That's 76.54 in just over a year. So, not bad. The Tao Tao is pretty fun. You know, if you only watch my R32 videos and you don't know about the scooter, that's juiced right up. Big bore kit, you know, the works. Racing camshaft. Fastest scooter around. I'll race any scooter, hands down. On the 50cc platform, of course. Like, I don't care if you board the motor out, but, I mean, obviously I won't race a 150cc scooter. It's apples and oranges. But if you have a 50cc scooter, I don't care what you did to the motor. Mine's going to be faster. Anyways, and you can see that in the comparison with mine versus the Schwinn, right? Because, like, of course I'll put his big bore kit in, but I'm not going to tell him all the secrets on how I made my kit. And how I get my top speed. and Just rambling now. Pretty excited I got that inspection done. That's great. So, I had to pull the SD card out. I have the dash cam photographies from like it going in the shop. And as I'm recording this, I haven't edited the video for the sway bar end links yet. So I don't know if I caught him talking about it or doing anything shady, you know. Go through all that. That's why I got the dash cam photographies. See what they did at the dealer. And I probably mentioned this in like another video, but every time I go there, they rev it. But, I mean, really? I'll rev it for you, but you don't have to rev my car at the dealer just because you want to hear the exhaust. So, yeah. Now that we got it inspected, we can do some more Vagcom tweaks. And won't have to worry about setting off any check engine lights or any flaws like that because it's already inspected. Don't really care. We could do some more hard launches. And maybe we'll do one tonight. I don't know. Got to edit some videos, though. Tons of videos to edit. So like and subscribe for more R32 videos, modifications, repairs, how-tos, all that stuff. Autocross and general fun, shenanigans, scooter stuff. Anybody wants to race scooters, just hit me up.